wonderful. It's so exciting. And thank you, Dr. Bonnie and Dr. D and all of, the, all of you guys. This is fantastic what's going on. And I'm just here to just kind of uh, uh, share with you all and invite you all um, something that's really exciting that's happening in the world. Um, my name is Dr. Felicia Taylor, and I am a nurse for over 30 years. I am the director now of GHA Institute, which is called Global Health Access Institute. I have been in the area for 30 years. I have a, a home health care company that's out of Great Falls, Virginia, that we've operated for 30 years. And certainly, um, my colleague here is uh, Beatrice Arajave. She's one of the directors with us. And we work in a collaborative approach um, in trying to make healthcare better. That's been our model. My background, I'm a psychiatric nurse. Um, and I've worked um, the whole spectrum of healthcare. I teach um, at the university level. I do a lot with innovation and emerging uh, health. And certainly, all of you that are in this room will be part of what's going to happen in the world. And it's exciting because it's historical. It's never happened before. So a little briefly about, um, we are here with the 2020 Year of the Nurse and Midwives. It's called Nursing Now Campaign. It's never, ever happened before. There's never been a year of nursing in the world. I'm going to share a little bit about that. And again, I'm with the organization GHA Institute. So just to, so you all understand, and most of you, you know, how many, how many, how many nurses do you think exist in the world? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> like a gazillion. Gazillion. <laughs> you know, well, there is actually, um, there's about 19 million, but it's close to 20 million nurses in the world, which is a lot of nurses. So this is a great opportunity uh, to really uh, develop and train nurses, and I'm going to give a little bit more to that. But nurses are the bridge of healthcare, and we know that because most of us have gone through a healthcare place, if not with our family members, and we will. Anyone in this room will go through the healthcare model. And, uh, again, the nurses are the front line. So a little bit about GHA Institute. So again, this was birthed after we were working in home health care with all of our patients. We were realizing that we just got to do health care better. And the way we're doing it now is not good enough. We're getting people too late. We're getting people too sick. And we're not doing really health care. We're doing sick care. So, and I, you know, my background is I came to this area because I worked in the White House on uh, the first health care reform. And it was um, uh, certainly a lot of, you know, didn't do very well because of the political pushback. But now, Things are changing where people are realizing if we don't change healthcare uh, as a nation, as a world, we're going to have big problems. So, um, our mission, our vision in GHA Institute is to train nurses and healthcare professionals on best practices when using emerging technologies. So, that's what our organization is about. And these are some pictures of our nurse practitioners. We have informatics, we have people from uh, social work. This is a uh, university we're teaching at. And we're partnering with AMU. Um, we're so thankful for Dr. Gee and the opportunity he has that brings really more of the quality management component into healthcare and the measurements and outcomes. Uh, we have an online three-day interactive course which provides telemedicine and telehealth certifications. We are accredited with the American Nurses Credentialing Center and we're uh, part of the HIMSS approved educational partners which is Health Information Management System Society. So we are one of their partners as well. Um, how many know what telemedicine and telehealth is? It's hard to respect this whole room. But those who don't know, it's using telecommunication to do healthcare. And a uh, big component is that um, in our industry, a lot of people are resistant to it. And those who are not resistant to it are not doing it correctly. So again, our focus is to um, create best practices in that. So we have a telehealth lab which is why I love Joe's uh, simulation. We have in our telehealth lab, we have a telehealth simulation. We have mock launching of telehealth programs, telehealth adoption techniques. We do telehealth devices, workshops. Subject matter experts come and speak, such as many of you will be. Um, and AI in healthcare, cyber health security. Again, the focus being training healthcare professionals to be able to bring in um, uh, technology as we're training healthcare uh, patients. And so we are supporters of the 2020 Year of the Nurse and Midwife, which is a Nursing Now movement. And what is that? Okay, so in January 2019, the World Health Organization, who, Director General, officially declared 2020 would be the Year of the Nurse and Midwife. This has never happened before. This is an historical moment 
in our world, where the whole world is coming together to make nurses uh, the focus and midwives. So, Dr. Gabrisis, who is the WHO uh, director, uh, stated that nurses are the bridge of healthcare, a crucial link between the people of the community and the complex healthcare. And that's says nurses are the front line. I guess you would call them army people, military people. They're in the army, right? They're on the front lines, so we have to get behind them. So around the world, over 20 million nurses will be thrilled to see this profession recognized in this way. This is a once-in-a-generation opportunity for world governments to really show nurses and midnight wives how much they are valued. So Dr. Gabrisi said, because of this, they, nurses and midwives, are the key factors in achieving universal health coverage, which is a WHO initiative being spearheaded with the goal of bringing adequate health care to mankind across the globe. So, Dr. Gabrisi, they chose the uh, WHO, he said, we choose this declaration by reminding everyone that a 220 is also the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale. Who ever heard of Florence Nightingale? Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about it, just very briefly. But Dr. Carisi said, we need to celebrate people like her who have contributed greatly to humanity. And a little bit about it. Who is Florence Nightingale? So Florence Nightingale was born in May 1820 into a wealthy, upper class, and well-connected British family. She was a statistician. She uh, was an early data scientist. She was a social reformer who was a societal champion of modern nursing. She was a disruptive innovator. If you look at what Florence Nightingale did, she disrupted healthcare. And that next wave is happening now in our generation. Healthcare is going to be disrupted by this next wave of what's happening in the world. So she instituted environmental changes in hospitals and clinic settings. They talk about that now. Oh, if we change the environment in the hospital, you know, we can improve how patients care. She was talking about that in 1820. She instituted nursing rounds and nights and at night she's using lamps to monitor the sick and dying. So you'll hear of doctors saying, we're doing our rounds now. That was Florence Nightingale who started that. Infection control monitored by uh, using statistics to measure quality outcome. That was Florence Nightingale that started that. She's the one that went to the British hospital and said, let's look at what the statistics are showing, what the infections are, how we can manage patients, and use that data to better provide care. She created the first nursing school, and there's so much more of what she did. So she's just been a real champion in healthcare and a model, and it's great that they're deciding this is the year of nurses that they're going to look at um, her as the person that we want to get nursing to and healthcare to. So whose agenda? Again, is universal health coverage uh, part of the whose agenda to bring adequate health care to all people across all communities? Universal health care mission is to bring quality health coverage to people of all communities and social economic status, focused on lower income citizens who are typically most financially devastated by costs of primary care, acute care, and don't have the means to participate in preventative care. So as Dr. Barney said, we want to bring good, he wants to, I'm, my heart is to do good in the world, do good for humanity. This is an opportunity for us to help those who are on the front line do good because you have ideas, you have models and thoughts to take all of that to be able to bring it to the nursing industry is going to really revolutionize healthcare. Many of you may know who Kate Middleton, so she is the one who endorsed the Nursing Now campaign, and she's married to Prince William. Um, she's behind this whole big, big, big movement. She said nurses are the heart of most health teams, play a crucial role in health promotion, disease prevention, and treatment. As health professionals who are the closest to the community, they have a particular role in developing new models of community-based care and supporting local efforts to promote health and prevent diseases. So a little bit about what we're doing with GHA. We've created a nurse, we're the first to create a nursing incubator center. center. There is no nursing incubator center. So this is a, one of our graduates, Dr. Yulia. She created uh, this tool after she graduated out of our course that works with discharge planners. So basically, you're going to a hospital now and you may have diabetes or you may have Parkinson's. Nobody really has been driving that. And so everyone does different methods. When she created this platform after she took our course, 
and basically has used this, and we've taken it through the incubator phases of launching into communities uh, so that clinicians can use this tool to guide them on how they can manage patients, how they can prepare them for discharging. So she has this called HS, this is one of our, uh, uh, one of our incubator uh, members, I should say, who's going through the process. And again, this is an opportunity with nursing is to be able to get them developed, take their ideas from, uh, from cradle to grave. So, uh, in the launching of the, they call it the, the campaign, it's called the Nightingale Challenge 2020. And what is it? The Nightingale Challenge 2020 calls for every employer of nurses globally to provide leadership and development training to nurses and midwives next year. So we're a little early. This is going to start to 2020, but we're already getting it moving. And this is one of our first launches with AMU as a partner. So again, this is only the beginning. So we're asking all of you to think how you can join GHA and the Nursing 20 campaign to bring awareness to the nurse, nurses, the year of nurses and midwives. And again, our focus for GHA is using the emerging technology. So I want to thank you all for allowing us to share. And this is our information. And uh, we look forward to a collaborative partnership uh, with all the AMU and the Center and any, anyone else that joins in. Yes, Dr. Gay. Uh, Dr. Bonnie, I just wanted and uh, I just want to mention of the three people on the line. Uh, Dr. Burton is uh, a co-author yes, with is, Dr. Dr. Taylor of a textbook on telehealth. Uh, Dr. Kim Brown Jackson is a certified telehealth professional, and AMU has given. Uh, Marguerite Youssef, who is our RN as well, uh, a scholarship to take this particular course. Nice. And uh, we'll be, um, the nurses who come into uh, Dr. Uh, Taylor's programs uh, are nurses and are looking for internships. So it seems to me that they would be excellent if they had a sort of background of Six Sigma you know what yes, I mean? And absolutely. working as this, development. Yes, they could get credit uh, for uh, degrees and programs uh, that, that everybody would benefit from. So I just mentioned that. Yes, yeah, absolutely. we got 20 million of them doing that, one, so we're going to be very busy. We can uh, enroll right. all of them next week. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all of you extra instructors. Yeah. 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 Yes. You know, we're already working with Kenya and uh, uh, other uh, countries that are involved, and certainly like Lebanon, and there's going to be uh, many, many, uh, my colleagues from Colombia, so South and Central America, are already on the platform, yes. so we've got quite a bit to do. We have a, an intern from China. There are uh, 3 million nurses to serve 1.4 billion people, which is not enough. Wow. So emerging technologies and learning development and leadership skills are going to be critical to be able to manage all of these people. So with that, I don't want to take too much, I know, uh, but I want to let you share those little, little brochures about what we're doing in our campaign. So we look forward to a collaborative partnership with you all. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.